Okay, this video is a uh, was by request of a viewer, and what he wanted to know was how to uh, create a tube from. Uh, I can't remember exactly how he worded it, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm sure he meant an edge or a line or a spline. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really, really easy. So I'm just going to go to lines here, <clears throat> and I'll just draw. Let's see, go to front view, and switch to orthographic, and I'll just draw a line here. Where to go? Uh oh. Okay. Well, I guess I did something wrong. Anyway, let's just go ahead and draw a line here. For center. <coughs> uh, this. Okay. Now it's this curve. So all all I'm going to do to make a tube out of this or a cylinder is just go here. Uh, to the surface modeling tab and then I'm um, going to go right here and click on thickness and then you can increase the size uh, let's make sure you can see that increase the size and the number of points how smooth you want it how many edges so let's just Let's do about eight on this one and validate. And that's all there is to it. <clears throat> um, also, if I wanted to create another one, I could grab one of these edges here and I could just extract that. Uh, let's see. I guess not. Okay. Uh, curve extraction. Where Where is that at? It's something I don't use. I always just uh, use um, copy and paste. Uh, offset curve. Curve extraction under the lines tab. Uh, that would be uh, this little icon around here. So we'll just extract that curve. Go back to the surface modeling tab and use thickness again. <clears throat> uh, let's clear those items out of there. And then let's go back to the front view here and, <coughs> pardon me, and uh, let's see what else was going to show. Oh, let's go back to lines and just go to the front view and let's just grab a curve. And we'll just draw out a curve here. Validate it. Go back to the surface modeling tab. Thickness again. And just drag it up or down. Uh, before you uh, validate that, you can also go down here in the uh, dynamic geometry and, and grab this... Uh, curve to the control curve and then you can just um, I guess you just can't let's see here let's apply that and then oh, that doesn't work validate okay I thought maybe we could grab uh, control curve. I'm sure that that will work. Um, I thought it did anyway. Anyway you can give it a tweaking and then give it some thickness. Oh, I guess we gotta collapse the DG and then add the thickness. So anyway, uh, I hope that helps you out. Um, let's go ahead. <clears throat> I'm sure that answered uh, the question that you were asking, but uh, let me go ahead and and uh, do a 
little something here just to kind of show you in a practical application what you might use it for. It's created a uh, sphere here. Go to vertex, or uh, not vertex, but uh, wireframe. Oh man, I got my panels messed up here. Make sure I got that selected and got a wireframe, and I'll just grab those bottom faces here. And let's go back here, and we'll just grab these faces right here. And I'll hold the control key and do an inset there, and then extrude that down. And then we'll grab this edge here and loop it, pull it down, let's see here, pull it down a little bit more, let's go ahead and pull the whole thing up, grab this edge, pull it down, and let's say this is oh, uh, some kind of um, oxygen tank or, or some sort of... Uh, something that has some gas in it, uh, scuba gear, something, anyway, uh, I know that's not what scuba gear looks like, or the tank, but anyway, I uh, just, what I wanted to show you here is, uh, how you could do that, use that, and let's say you needed a, uh, tube or a hose coming from the tank, you could just go here and click on your curve, and then zoom in here and I'm gonna hold the shift key and I'm gonna snap to the center vertice and I'm gonna go back to the front view and oops I missed it let's try that again uh, let's go here and make sure what snapping is turned on oh, I've got a bunch of of uh, different snapping options turned on. Let's just change that to uh, points only. And we'll grab this curve again and then I'm gonna hold shift to snap right there. And then we'll just come out here and go like this and hit enter collapse the dynamic geometry and then we'll just add a little thickness to that and let me increase our points, validate anyway uh, that's that's not perfect that's not what I wanted to accomplish but uh, I, th I think you get the point of how to create those uh, tubes uh, from just about any any spline curve or line uh, that you need to I could even uh, let's see let's go back and select the tank here I could even uh, grab one of these edges here a loop select it and then I'm going to hit control C control V to copy and paste and what you can see is that uh, created a circle here and then I can go add some thickness to that to create a, a torus if you need a torus primitive or an inner tube maybe Anyway, that's going to do it for this uh, video. I uh, hope that helps you. Have a great day.